Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm gonna shoot He saw us. As I expected. Today I'm gonna show you how to easily get Half-Life up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now this is absolutely amazing. This is a highly optimized version specifically tailored for the Raspberry Pi 4. And if we take a look up in the top right hand corner, we're running at 70 FPS. Now I have had some frame dips when there's lots of particles and effects on screen, but overall, so far, it's been really smooth. And by the way, the Pi that I'm using right now is not overclocked whatsoever. We're at the stock clocks on the CPU and the stock clocks on the GPU. And this is the 4 gigabyte model, but it should perform just as well on the 2. So like I mentioned, this is an optimized version for the Raspberry Pi 4. I personally haven't tested it on the Raspberry Pi 3, but I'm not sure if it'll work or not. So we're just dealing with the Pi 4 in this video. Before we get started, I do want to give a big shout out to the developer of PyKiss, because that's how we're going to easily install this. His name's Jose, and I'll leave a link to his GitHub in the description. And I also want to give a big shout out to Lee PSP Video, because he actually turned me on to this. He's super up to date on all things Raspberry Pi 4, and he puts out a ton of videos, so I definitely recommend heading over to his YouTube channel and subscribing. I'll leave a link to that in the description also. So if you're ready to get the original Half-Life up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4 at full speed, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be using Raspberry Pi OS for this video, but any Debian-based operating system will work, like Twister OS. So the first thing we need to do is install PyKiss, and lucky for us, Jose has set this up to make it super easy. We have one line that we need to paste in the terminal, and I'll leave a link to this GitHub in the description. Full changelog is here, lots of great stuff with PyKiss, I've previously done a video on it. So all we need to do is scroll down to the installation section. We're going to copy this and paste it right into terminal. You can press Control alt t on your keyboard to get terminal up. You will need to be connected online for this to work, and it's just a one-liner to get PyKiss installed on your Raspberry Pi 4. And this should be a fairly quick process, but once it's finished, we'll have PyKiss installed. And we can head up to the Raspberry Pi in the top left-hand corner, System Tools, and start PyKiss from here. Now this part's very important. In order to get this up and running, you need to own Half-Life. You can own it on Steam or a physical disc, but you have to own it. It's nine bucks on Steam right now, but I've seen it on sale all the time for around five. If you don't own it, definitely buy it because it's one of the best games ever made. That and Half-Life 2. So what you're seeing on screen right now is PyKiss. This is a simple installer or an easy installer to get different applications and tweaks on your Raspberry Pi 4. To get Half-Life installed, we're going to scroll down to where it says Games and press Enter. This is going to bring us into the Games menu. And from this list, we're just going to find Half-Life. Once you find it, press Enter. You will need to be online for this to work. It's going to give us a little bit of information about the game itself. And basically, all you need to do from here is follow the on-screen prompts. It's going to ask you if you own the game. If you don't own it, go ahead and buy it right now, and then you can click Yes. So this is a simple installer. It will take a little bit of time to finish. I think mine took about six minutes, which isn't a big deal, but I do have a pretty decent internet connection. Once it's finished, it's gonna ask you if you wanna start the game. Just press enter, and you're gonna start Half-Life 1 on your Raspberry Pi 4. And now that it's installed on the Raspberry Pi 4, we can launch it from the game section up here. And there it is. We now have Half-Life up and running on our Raspberry Pi 4. I'm at the stock clocks with a four gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4. We'll go ahead and start it up. And I'm just using my mouse and keyboard. We do have that FPS listed up in the top right hand corner. And it's around 69 FPS continuously. But like I said, sometimes you will see a dip down when there's lots of effects and particles on screen. But other than that, this is running amazingly well on the Raspberry Pi 4. But that's pretty much it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. Do want to give a big shout out to Jose with Pi Kiss, And I also want to give a big shout out to Lee PSP Video. Links for their websites and YouTube channels are in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.